Okay, now what you are seeing on your screen is cover letter. So welcome to yet another interesting topic for the day. Cover letter is an adjuvant communication to your resume format. But gone are the days when you used to, you know, put a cover letter, draft a good cover letter and attach a resume there and send it to our prospective employer with on, uh, with on the postal services. So now what cover letter does is it becomes a text body part of your mail. Simply copy all the all whatever is there in the cover letter as a body part and immediately paste it to the uh, body of your email, attach a resume and send it to the email address of the prospective employer, which is the easiest thing. So here I am starting my welcome. This is a skill influencer Manish Nair welcoming for yet another interesting session of cover letter. And as I said, cover letter is an additional communication tool. So what it does is essentially it has three paragraph approach. So it has to be taken as three paragraph approach. The first paragraph is more or less the reference where you have picked this job from, where you have come to know about this job from. So we need to mention that reference in the first paragraph. Essentially, the second paragraph would have the experience or the internship that we have gone through. And the third paragraph will be a letter of appreciation or award. If you have, please take anything if you have worked in uh, with as an intern with an organization and if you have done well please take that letter and mention that appreciation letter or an award in case if you have fished uh, doing that internship or doing that particular course uh, you should mention it in the third paragraph so uh, additional communication tool for sure cover letter and cover letter is nothing but a, an application uh, as you apply uh, you know for a specific job then you need to cover it nicely with three paragraphs so it is only the three paragraph but it is a typical format of uh, an application an introduction is the first paragraph and what do you do is you are contacting them so how you are contacting them so mention that reference that you have heard from let's say a newspaper if you have heard it from the project manager of that company mention that anybody who's working in the company and if he has referred you uh, with a mail referred as refer always his name so that will help to reconnect right so that's the purpose of the first paragraph and if i'm not wrong if you're fresher then please mention that you are a trained fresher or a fresher in a particular domain and with a major subject of this if the job profile is such that ask for a major that and you have done it so please mention that you are a fresher and you're looking for a job out on this particular domain which is your qualification or, or your background so that completes the first part of the cover letter uh, your work experience in case if your internship is there then you definitely quote that that you have already gone through the internship and you are no more a fresher you are a trained fresher for the targeted job so that completes the first paragraph I am sure that you would have got by now how to frame your first paragraph. The second paragraph, the middle paragraph is also called as a magic paragraph because it is going to be decisive as you will be, uh, you know, giving your detail as why you are an exceptional hire. So uh, remember when I talked sometimes back that I have mentioned you are a kind of an intern you have an experience or certain kind of an exposure to the domain so that becomes an exceptional hire in case if you are, have done your internship your project your participation is academically is much significant so please make it very sure that you are an exceptional hire by writing it as a first line the second line uh, perhaps you know gives you an opportunity to say that you have strengths which are very very specific to that job profile and th that should click an eye with the recruiter who is reading your uh, cover letter. So uh, again uh, in resume column we have never written our strengths or uh, weaknesses which you should be avoiding it and that's the reason when I say it's an uh, that cover letter is an additional tool to communicate with your prospective employer that's where where I, where I stress this point of writing the strength. So you're not repeating your resume you're just incorporating new things into your cover letter and making additional communication with your prospective employer. The third thing is boldly indicate your strengths. 
Yeah, if you have strengths, then boldly indicate it. And maybe if you have an example, let's say if you have an example to showcase that your internship done in a specific domain has fetched you a letter of appreciation or an award. So that is where what I mean is boldly indicate your strength. And the third paragraph, I'm going back again to this middle paragraph. It is, it is very, very important. It is a magical paragraph. It is a decisive paragraph. So make sure that you phrase the right two or three sentences and make it a very emphatic one. The third paragraph, the first uh, thing that you should do is that repeat or reinforce your interest area. And in case if you are passionate to do it, write that word passion that something of yours as a strength matches the job profile and job description and you are passionate because you think that this job will be highly challenging and rewarding for you. So please mention these lines as it is going to be very, very important. It will break an ice. It catches that kind of an attention. So I hope that three paragraphs of uh, how to phrase it, how to write it, uh, and how to bring about in a cover letter needs an explanation. So what I've done is I have given you a Okay, thank them for the time and consideration in the third paragraph, which is the last line. What I've done is I have come out with a template, a format of cover letter, how it looks like. So I'm starting with, as I said, sometimes back that it's an application. So you're applying it. So your name, everything left aligned. Your name with an address with a pin code, your, the date that you are applying. So today is 23rd. So I've written 23rd. So let's say if I'm talking to Shraddha Meshram, which is my favorite student. So uh, her name, uh, she's working with an IT company. So national technologies, her name. And of course, the pin code is also coming. Then the salutation, dear Miss Meshram, right? And the first paragraph itself, as I explained to you, shows the reference part, right? I'm trainee. Regarding the trainee network, the position has been highlighted. So write the position and please find and close my resume showing my education experience and background. Last line of the first paragraph that you should incorporate and attach your resume, right? That's what it says. The second paragraph says I have one year of experience. In case if you are experienced in the networking or the software field, mention that. And the second paragraph itself also showcases that I have received two employee awards while working in my current employee. I believe I would excel in the networking field, write that field or the industry because I find it challenging and rewarding. Didn't I mention sometimes back? So it should come, it should fall in place here. And because my qualification and interest is also in the same field, the last paragraph or the last line is, I would appreciate an opportunity to, to discuss this in detail and I am available for an interview at a mutually convenient time. So a lot of good language being used here. I wish that you incorporate and make your communication a more impactful, right? Last line, as I talked about the last line, the last slide, thank you for time and consideration. Sincerely, Manish Nair. So your sincerely uh, is when you know the name of the employer and yours faithfully when you do not know the name of the employer, right? So madam comes first and sir comes uh, the last option always. So writing your name below that completes the format of cover letter. And I'm sure that going through the formal letter, what you, for the cover letter, uh, you simply need to do is copy right from dear Miss Meshram to thank you for your time and consideration. Of course, sincerely Manish Nair, you need to sign it. You copy this and paste it in the body of your email. And please do not forget to put an e-signature. Always have that e-signature in your draft mail so that you copy from there and paste it here. Sincerely, signature and then Manish Nair. So this completes the entire format of cover letter. I hope this would have been a value addition in your communication tool as cover letter. Whenever you're doing it, remember this, but, you know, copy this, paste it in the email body and, you know, attached a, the, the nicest resume that you have prepared, put an email ID of the recruiter and push the send button. You are almost done. So before thanking you, I would definitely say that I'm more than a help if you feel that you would wish to contact back i am writing down my number as well but please drop your questions in the comment so that i answer them back whatever type whatever question that you have 
So thank you so much. God bless you all.